Hello and welcome to another episode of Rockasoft tutorial series. My name is Stacy Thatcher and today I am super excited to show you guys our newest camera automation feature that has been highly requested by our clients and is going to be available in our new version release of the PTZ Joy PTZ camera controller software. So this new feature is called the Macro Player and this tool allows you to create scripts of commands called macros um, and then use the macro shortcuts in our PTZ Joy um, software to execute these scripts with a single click of a button or a key press on your USB joystick if using one or even your computer keyboard if you're using keyboard hotkeys. Um, so let me just show you my setup before we get started. Um, I have my little car demo um, area for demonstration purposes. You can see the PTZ Joy controller here on my screen. And then I also have my TriCaster set up. You can see here um, the input from my TriCaster with four camera inputs, two of which you can see here just for demo purposes. Um, so the way to access the macro player um, is you're going to click on this macro button here. As you can see, this turns into the little macro player, the buttons. And while I'm using the macro player, I also um, like to pull up my multi-cam direct control panel because then I have access to my presets um, as well. And I can control my cameras um, simultaneously from this little window here. Um, so for creating macros, PTZ Joy has a robust library of commands for basically any PTZ camera um, function. But the best part is, is that you can um, control your live production equipment, such as a vMix or um, in this case, a TriCaster like I have set up um, directly from PTZ Joy software. Um, as well as you can run scripts and send HTTP request commands to broadcasting equipment that um, accepts HTTP and VSCA um, commands. So I will post a link to um, below the video to the commands that are available for creating these macro scripts because there are a lot of them. Um, but let me just go ahead and show you this macro player. Um, so I already have some macros set up here. Um, this first row of macros, I have essentially set up um, to tell um, the TriCaster that I want to send my camera inputs to the preview screen, um, basically to prepare um, my camera view for going live. So let me show you that. Um, my macro one, when I press it, you can see that the preview screen of my TriCaster clicks over to my camera one input. If I press macro two, it goes to my camera input two. The preview screen, macro three, goes to my camera input three. And the, the cool thing from um, about this too is I can actually make adjustments. Um, so I send it to the preview window and if I wanna make an adjustment to, um, you know, whatever is, my camera's doing, I can. Let me switch it back to my camera too. And I can actually, if you can see here, I can make adjustments directly from my multi-cam direct control panel. Um, so that's my macro, my four first macros that I've created. Um, let me just open up the player here so you can see you have the list of, you know, nine um, inputs where you can create these macros. Um, and here I just have this, this script right here is telling, um, telling the macro player that I want camera one to go into TriCaster's preview window. So you can customize these. You can also um, set up the time increment at which you want these um, commands to happen here. So very cool there. Um, and then I'm gonna take this a step further in my next set of macros. Um, in my next set of macros, I wanted to automate this process um, and put an input into my preview window um, and then in a certain time increment send it over to the live program view. So let me show you there. Let me actually open up the player so you can kind of see what my script looks like. And if you take a look at the TriCaster input here, let's click macro 5. 
You can see my camera goes to camera one, and then in five seconds, it puts that camera view, camera input live in the TriCaster. Um, I created the same kind of script here for my camera two, so I'm gonna click on macro, actually close out of this, I'm gonna click on macro six, you can see my input two is gonna move to preset two, and then in five seconds, it's gonna go live. Um, so this is really cool just to kind of automate that process um, with the click of a button. Instead of having to go from this program to the TriCaster program, you can kind of set it all up here to automate your workflow. Um, the next macro set that I'm gonna show you, um, let's go ahead and do macro nine here. Let me see, I'm gonna put my camera one live so you can see. So macro nine, what I've done here with this script is I basically told um, the program that I want my camera to run through the presets. So I'm gonna click on macro nine. Wait a minute, oh, there it goes. And it's gonna run through the presets at a two second time interval um, as you see it going there. So that's just one example, actually a few examples of some of the scripts that you can create. Um, those are just the example ones I, I did today. Another um, option that you can do is I've created a little take macro for the TriCaster. So basically when I click macro 12, it's telling the TriCaster to take whatever is in the preview window and put it in the program live window. So here's macro. Well, and I have my little nice transition there in TriCaster as well. And then my other set of macros down here, I just kind of created, um, just playing around with it in macro 13. It's just whatever um, input I have that I want to send live, I just created buttons to do that. So there we go. So that is our macro player. Um, just a few other things about it. Um, let me open up my script here. You can also, oh, I mentioned before that you can create the time interval um, with which you want your scripts to run, but you can also, here you can also click on these um, number buttons here to kind of check your macros. So let's go ahead and run through, I'll show you how to do it. You, you just click on the button, and then in my TriCaster window, you see that what that's doing. So this line in particular says that I want, um, my preview window to show my that particular camera input which is camera one and so and then these two things are just um, you know kind of further telling it that that's what I want to do and then this one says I want to move my camera to preset three so that's what that just did and then number four is saying I want to send it live so that's just one way you can kind of check your your script there um, let's see here yeah, that is our macro player. Um, this just kind of helps camera operators simplify um, their workflow and manage um, your cameras and your live production system that you're working with all from one central location. I hope you guys like this tutorial. Thank you so much for tuning in. Until next time.